now. It's Bulletproof Tommy. Bulletproof Tommy from Brooklyn. You know why they call me to, uh, Bulletproof Tommy? Because when I was little, my mom used to make me carry all the books. All the books from school. Then one day, I was I was walking her back home. I had this gigantic book bag on me with a whole bunch of books. Then you know what happened? Some hoodlum bastard started to shoot, right? And I could hear the bullets pass my, my, my ear. They, one of those bullets hit me. And you know what happened, folks? My book bag stopped the bullet. And ever since then, I've been called Bulletproof Tommy from Brooklyn. You are tuning in to the Samanetti Source. The Samanetti Source. Wow, that was that was really good. That was hilarious. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry for the improv real quick. It was just a little thing I did right quick. Anyways, Yankees fans, yet again, this is Felix from NYNews.com. Well, like almost that's like usual. Let's talk about John Carlos Stanton. Let's talk about Aaron Judge. Let's talk about how once these two beasts get going, we're gonna see we're gonna see them have a little friendly competition. We're kind of seeing it now, where Judge hits a home run, Stanton hits a home run, but they're not really that hot right now. Sure, Judge has had a higher batting average and he has had more hits, but wait until these two beasts get on a little hot streak or get on a little hot streak i can't even freaking think right now i think bulletproof tommy was freaking hilarious you can't even lie about that so anyways folks we might see i know these two are not gonna hit home runs like mark mcguire and so so okay but we might see a little friendly competition where when it starts to get hot you're going to see Judge and Stan and compete, and we might see a show. I know for a fact Major League Baseball is hoping that these two <laughs> beasts, I keep calling call them beasts because I keep thinking my head and stuff ain't just coming out naturally. These two beasts are going to start hitting like beasts, <laughs> like the beasts we know they are. And wow, we might see them have a little mantle and marriage thing going on. We might see. We, we, obviously, they're not, like I said, they're not going to hit that many home runs like Mark McGuire Sosa did for obvious reasons. But we might see them maybe hit a pair of 50 home runs each. Who knows? Because John Carlos Stanton last year, he had one less home run than he has right now. And it's really the same kind of path he took last year. So we might see that. Let me fix this right quick. It's all live, folks. It's all live. No editing here. So you're going to see me fix stuff here and there. But wait until they both heat up. This is going to be great for baseball. Great, obviously great for the New York Yankees. And, you know, it's a show. That's why the Yankees got Stanton for ratings, etc. He's a great player. But sure, once he gets going, it's going to be pure entertainment. So let's talk about Luis Severino. Luis Severino, again... Pitching like Luis Severino has been pitching for this season and last season. He might just win the Cy Young Award this year, folks. And this is the thing about the Yankees. Look at Luis Severino. He is the blueprint in how an ace is supposed to pitch. I don't understand why the Yankees just don't trade for an ace caliber pitcher like Luis Severino. We all know high-velocity pitchers are the recipe for an ace type of pitcher. Not a Nathan Navaldi, obviously, but a pitcher that gets strikeouts. So this deadline, the Yankees are just going to be deadly if they add another pitcher that's going to be a one-two punch with Serrano. It's just going to be great baseball once, the, once we see the weather pick up. So Yankees fans... Bryce Harper's coming to town. Expect him to audition for the Yankees. You know the Yankees have enough money to obtain him next uh, uh, offseason. I don't think the Yankees are going to get Manny Machado. Manny Machado wants to play shortstop. You could just forget about that. But Bryce Harper, I could almost bank 
that the Yankees are going to sign Harper just because he's having a crazy year in that short short porch and right field in Yankee Stadium will work for his advantage. And like I said, again, the Yankees are just going to have a ton of money. So expect Harper to come in here for those two games in all this. I don't know if the Yankees are going to take those two games. I don't know. Who knows? Bryce Harper is just hot right now. He might carry the Nationals to a victory. But we all know he has that reputation of choking in big situations. So who knows? Then the Yankees go to Kansas City. So, but whatever. This Tuesday, that series kicks off. Expect Harper to audition for the New York Yankees. L let me know in the comment section below, guys. Do you want Bryce Harper on the New York Yankees if the Yankees can't afford him? Obviously, they're going to make some space out there in the outfield for him. So, obviously. So, just let me know in the comment section below, Yankees fans. And you see the background. Obviously, I could easily block this with a green screen or whatever, but I don't want to. Obviously, is unique. I'm just going to put a few Yankees bobbleheads up there where you see that that little ledge thing right there. And, um, yeah, I could easily uh, fix that. But um, I'm going to show you a picture right now of how my PC is set up and the screens and stuff, and stuff like that. That tanning bed it was put there because it actually fit perfectly there. That I used to have a couch back there, but um, the dimensions were just exactly alike. So I just said, hey, let me put that back there. So, uh, yeah, that was my setup. So, if I'm comfortable with it, I'm comfortable with it, right? So, that's just me, right? So, Yankees fans, like always, that has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, like always, and I will check you out next time.